Hello everybody and welcome back to StarCraft 2 where we just finished the second mission in the game, the Outlaws, and we are now ready to proceed to the intermission area. We only found six of nine resource pallets apparently, but that's okay. And now we get a loading screen. If I had known that, I would have done my intro during the loading screen. Oh well. Oh, no actual cutscene. Okay. Spending credits! Yeah, um, that's, that's fine. Once we get access to the armory, we can do that. What's this? I heard them Zerg got burned out by them creepy Protoss a few years back. It's been four years and they're still finding burrowed dens out in the wastelands. Well, a trophy like that's gotta fetch a good price on a black market. Up for some hunting, partner? Knock yourself out, Tychus. Me? I've hunted enough Zerg for two lifetimes. He's not wrong about that. I have to say, Jimmy, you turned into a real impressive fighter. If I was old Mainsk, I'd be running scared for me too. You really mean that, Tychus? Nah, I was just kidding. <laughs> Realistically, I agree with Tychus. He just kind of shoots an assault rifle at things. So who's your mysterious buyer, Tychus? Who are we supposed to hand this artifact over to? A bunch of eggheads I ran into called the Mobius Foundation. Mobius? They're a legitimate research group. Why the hell are they talking to you? Soon as your boy Mansk made it illegal to trade in alien goods, they got desperate. And you know me, Jimmy. I am a great patron of the sciences. Seems legit. What was it like, Jimmy? Fighting them Zerg. All the scrapes we were in back in the day. All the narrow escapes. None of it compares to how terrible they are, Tychus. You don't know what real fear is. Until you got a thousand of these sons of bitches barreling down on you. Thanks for staying with us. Let's go now to Kate Lockwell with an update on Jim Rayner's violent uprising. Thanks, Donnie. Rayner's clearly widening his list of targets. He's attacked a Dominion archaeological dig and possibly seized a dangerous alien artifact. Emperor Mansk spoke on this subject earlier today. There's no telling what kind of havoc these supposedly innocuous relics might wreak upon our worlds. Anyone found in possession of these items will be dealt with to the fullest extent of the law. Look on the bright side, partner. You're a wanted man either way. Thanks, Tigus. Shocking, Kate. I imagine civilian casualties were high as a result of Rainer's terrorist actions. Actually, the only civilian deaths appear to be collateral damage from overzealous Dominion security force. Uh, thanks, Kate. You heard it here first. Jim Rayner, killing women and children on Marsara. Good job, Jimmy. Reporting the news, as always. Oh, man. Didn't the magistrate here know he was hiring an arch criminal as his marshal? <laughs> he was counting on it. Guess my tough guy reputation kept things nice and quiet around here. All the time I wore that badge, I never had to shoot anybody. Well, where's the fun in that? Indeed, where is the fun in that? Well, let's do our mission. With the artifact secure, you need to wait for transport at Backwater Station before you can leave Marsara. Transportation is on the way. Caution is advised. Dominion security forces may succeed in tracking the artifact to the station. Hold out until extraction. Okay, how long is the question? <laughs> Let's find out. I've got transport coming to pick us up. All we gotta do is sit tight. Don't sound too hard. I figure we earned ourselves a little R&R. &R. Commander, I'm detecting a massive concentration of Zerg biosignatures landing at the abandoned dig site. I should have known it. Damn you, Tychus. I swear, man, I didn't know nothing about no Zerg. Given their current course, the Zerg will overrun this location within the hour. Yeah. 
We gotta hold out long enough for extraction. If we man the bunkers and hold those two bridges as long as we can, we just might stand a chance. <laughs> We're gonna have a real fight on our hands here. I've been in plenty of holdouts before. Not against the Zerg, you ain't. Okay, um, can we make fire bats? That's my main question. So, I'm, I'm kind of thinking a two-tiered defense structure, perhaps three-tiered, depending on how the base is laid out. But first things first, we need to get as many resources as we can. Okay. You gonna get by the number. This better be good. Yep. Okay. I'm just taking a quick look around here. Ooh, infantry weapons level one. We want that for sure. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these SCVs and be building some additional bunkers. Oh, uh, it's you. Okay, got it. Bunker there. Not enough minerals. Excellent. We are going to need a few more marines, so let's go ahead and have this as a group here. Okay. I mean, realistically, we have a little bit of time to prep here, but we are holding out for 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get a... Well, we're going to need an SCV in gas soon enough. Oh, here they come. Here they come! Lock and load! Okay, let's build a bunker. Right. I guess... Here I'll have to do. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, looks like it did hold the game speed. Excellent. Get some SCVs repairing those bunkers. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I will be getting SCVs repairing those bunkers as soon as we have bunkers to repair. This one's at full health. <laughs> to anyone hearing this message, we're pinned down near Backwater Station. Please oh wait, assist. where do we get this SCV? Uh -huh. It can come on back here. Oh, okay, they're pinned down. We will, uh, we'll go do that. Okay. Not you. Come on up over here. Just a couple Zerg. That's not a problem. Additional upgrade complete. Uh, we do need supply depots, don't we? I'm so bad at that. Thought we were gunners there. Okay. Come on back home. So I'm kind of thinking bunkers up here, actually. Okay. Up in there, and in there. Then you guys can come on up over here. Multiple air bogies detected. ETA, right the hell now. Okay. Air bogies are fine. Let's go ahead and hop a couple of these into gas and get a bunch of SCVs here. So this is our artifact here. Of course we need more supplies. <laughs> okay, so we're being attacked over here, but we have a missile turret. It's just mutas. We're okay. So let's go ahead and build a bunker right here as well. And this guy can come on up over here. And we're probably going to put up another tier over here of defense. And a similar sort of thing over here. I do see that there's a couple of pallets here. This be and actually, I kind of... Mm, we have to go all the way around? Okay, I'm not I'm not going to bother with that then. Let's go ahead and put up a bunker here. And keep building some supplies over this direction. Kind of like that. And yeah, we do have some empty bunkers. This is fine though. Let's go ahead and build a reactor here and a tech lab here. Okay. Should have no problem holding this. Even with a Hydra. Yeah, no concerns. Need to repair that eventually. But for right now, this is fine. Mayday, mayday! We're trapped by the Zerg! They're furrowed all around us! If you can reach us, please help! Oh, yeah. 
Where is this? Oh, up there. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Add on complete. Let's go. Excellent. We do need a few more SCVs mining. That would be nice. I'm going to build a couple of extra turrets over here. Oh, of course they attacked over here. What jerks. Okay. Well, we can get back and defend this. This isn't a major issue. Although we did lose that bunker. Which I'm not okay with. We'll have to grab an SCV from down here. No, only one SCV. Okay. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and put up our tier of defense out here first. We'll leave our medic here, and then we'll have a decent chunk of marines up over here to hold this location. We also need a few marines over here to start manning these bunkers. And let's just get as many marines queued up as possible. We are going to need a few more supplies, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Might as well grab infantry armor one. There's no real reason not to. We'll build a bunker over here. We're under attack here. This is fine. We will need to defend it, though. Or rather, repair it. Let's get a few more SCVs queued up, and then bring this guy over here to repair. Excellent. We can have several marines hop into this bunker. There is another round of rebels that we're going to need to be ready to go rescue. But let's build one more turret over here. There we go. Okay, these guys can hop on into here. And we'll put another round of bunkers back here. And just generally, they're going to have a very hard time getting through these multiple tiers of uh, defenses. So let's have these four come on up over here. This is fine. Not a concern. There are a couple of Zerg just kind of chilling right here, though. Look at that. Get out of here, Zerg. And let's build another bunker. Right here will be fine. And you can build a bunker. Like, essentially, you can replace these bunkers. So build one right there. And we're just going to keep pumping out the Marines. About 10 minutes. Okay, that's fine. I'm also going to put up a turret right here, just in case they somehow bring in a stealther. I don't think they can, but it's worth a go. Okay, I'm going to put up a bunker here. Oh, we can't get there. We can't get there. Okay, your job is to repair. In, in that case, you will go ahead and do that. And we've got ourselves a decent chunk of marines. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, these marines to rescue these guys, since they're right here. Excellent. Okay. And then hop on in here, and hop on in here. And then, well, we don't need the medic in there, but everyone else can hop in there. Standing by. Excellent. Base is under attack. Yeah, Win isn't the base under attack, though. So this guy can't really get there. That's okay. We've kind of got a decent block in here. And I do kind of want another turret. Like, I, I want some more turrets down over here, right? So let's, let's go ahead and get a turret up right here. Just in case they attack from that direction. But overall... I would say we are pretty much safe. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. I doubt they're going to get through these defenses in seven minutes with what they've thrown at us so far. And if they do, well, we've got some marines Base is and some attack. medics that are going to be prepared to deal with them. 
Excellent. Go ahead. I'm going to put up another turret down here, just to be safe. And then this guy can come up here and repair. Go, go, go! The doctor is in. I guess we may as well have two more the SCVs depleted. so that we are saturated. Oh, we're saturated. We depleted a mineral field. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, cancel those then. You want a piece of me, I mean, boy? realistically, I would say we are Base pretty much ready. Attack. What are they going to do? Bring ultras? I doubt that. This Hydra is really awkward, though. You gonna give me orders? Okay, there we go. I'm kind of surprised that the Hydra was out of range of our bunker, but the bunker did survive, and we can repair it, so that's good. But I am kind of thinking that maybe we need another bunker right here, or maybe, like, right here. Let's do it. And then let's get ourselves four Marines up here. They can attack, move. I don't know if they'll find a route. And we don't have medevacs. Base is under attack. Okay, we're under attack up over here, but that shouldn't be an issue. The doctor is in. Yeah, that won't be an issue. Hold out just a little longer. We'll be getting out of here. Hello. So I managed to uh, get those guys out of there, and then these guys into here. This guy's stuck over on this side now, but this is fine. This is completely fine. Where are you going? I don't want you there. I want you over here. Perfect. Okay, well. I, uh, I don't think they're going anywhere. But we'll just, we'll have these guys back, like, right here, up top. Just to be safe. So we've got four minutes until our evacuation gets here. We have rescued all of the rebels. And realistically... I don't see the Zerg getting Base through this unless they bring up attack. Ultras or something. So, can we get, like, U-238 shells or something? Mm -hmm. Well, those Hydras were in range. I guess that was fine. I mean, I don't think we can get U-238 shells. I don't know if that even exists in SC2. Realistically. This guy, uh, I guess he can go ahead and mine. We can continue being oversaturated. We don't have an expansion to expand to unless we take one from the Zerg, which we only have three minutes, so why bother? We've got plenty of minerals. At this point, I'm content to basically just sit here and wait. Here comes another Zergling attack with a single Hydralisk. Like... These aren't even speedlings. I don't know why they think that's going to work. I have an SCV there to to repair. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's maybe because it's the third mission. That makes sense. Yeah, like this is this is never going to work. Base is on the field depleted. Well, that needs repair. Bad news. Actually, there's an SCV down Go here. Ahead. We'll just come up here and repair. Base is under attack. Like, the Hydralisks are the only ones really doing any damage, but they're only attacking Base with, like, on one to attack. two Hydralisks at a time. Yeah, I mean... Sure, they keep throwing tons of Zerglings at us, but this is fine. We can hold this almost Base indefinitely. I mean, if we had, like, tanks or something? Commander, this is Matt Horner. Just hold on. Cavalry's on the way. Take your time, Matt. No rush. Base is under attack. I mean, really, no rush. This is fine. The SCVs, the SCV here might die if I don't get it healed, but I got it healed. Although that did cause that, uh, that, that did cause that bunker to get overwhelmed, so there is that. Oh, they are actually pushing in here, but that's okay, we have multiple tiers of defense. Like, this is fine. 
I wish them luck. Base they killed two bunkers. Attack. Good for them. <laughs> okay, we weren't that close to being overwhelmed. Come on. Well, maybe with the Nidus's. Cavalry's arrived. Anyone still alive down there? Good to see you, Matt. Welcome to the party. Glad we made it in time, sir. Now let's get you boys out of there. Defeat four Zerg hatcheries in the Zero Hour mission on hard difficulty. That would actually be kind of fun. I might try that sometime. Not this time, though. Okay. So the Hyperion showed up. As pretty much expected. you hanging before sir fair enough just get us the hell out of here all batteries concentrate forward firepower spin up drives two and six all hands brace for warp jump on my mark mark seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. You need to see this. Zerg swarm launched a full-scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all outer rim plots. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. Video footage confirms the Queen of Blades is in fact leading the swarm. There's no telling what the Zerg will throw against us this time. Sir, we need to make sure our hardware and munitions are up to the challenge. Yeah, I'll check in with Swan down the armory. Knowing him, he's already got upgrades for us. I hate to ask, sir, but is there a reason that convict's still on my bridge? Easy, Matt. Tychus is one of my oldest friends. He helped me out of a real bind a few years back. I owe him. Well, your friend has a criminal record as long as... Mine? Believe me. If Tychus Finley wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. Understood, sir. Well, yeah. I mean, he clearly has some sort of ulterior motive, but for now, he doesn't seem to want to betray us. Also... I'm not so sure that Kerrigan wants to finish the job, whatever the job is. Does does Rainer mean she wants to kill him? Because I don't think she does. Anyway, let's see what everybody has to say. Actually, let's go to the armory first. Hey, everybody, our glorious leader has returned. <laughs> hey, man, what's up, cowboy? What do you got for me, Swan? Uh, the usual, building up our standard forces. Bringing my troops and hardware up to speed, huh? Yep, you can add upgrades for their tech right here on the console. But building an army on the run ain't cheap. You brought back credits this time, right? Look, I know money's been tight. But that artifact we just picked up from Marsar is gonna solve everything. Yeah, I've heard that before, brother. It's different this time. Yeah, I heard that one too. 
Upgrading what we got is all well and good, but when are we getting new hardware? A lot of gaps in our inventory right now. Sometimes we take a job with some kind of new hardware, and I get a schematic for it so we can make more of them. The plans for other stuff, we gotta either beg, borrow, or steal. Okay. Well, let's see what we've got so far. So we can upgrade our bunkers, or our marines, or our medics. And there are two upgrades each. Increases the range. Oh, that's the U-238 shells that I was talking about. Or the number of bunker slots. We can actually do both. Or we can give our marines the stim pack ability, which I always forget to do. Or we can increase their life. Or medics no longer require the tech lab add-on. That's interesting. That would allow us to produce medics with a reactor. Hmm. I'm thinking right now, though, both of the bunker upgrades would be super nice. More range. More units. Let's do it. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode, we will proceed to the next mission. See you all then.